Do I have to tell you not to throw the paper in the dog bowl? Mrs. O'Connor, the dog's been dead for years. What's the big deal? Good morning, Mrs. O'Connor. Late night, huh? Good morning. You are remembering my dress, yes? I'll have your dress ready for you by tomorrow, just like we said. We said today. Of course. Of course. It was a day not much different than any other, except for a select group of people who were going to cross paths. I, being one of them and the common thread, was in a deep sleep. Honey, I'm home! <gasps> oh my god! You have to get out of here! My mother would kill me if she knew I had a guy up here. Your mother? Why can't that girl get out of school? Welcome to my adolescent crisis. A, a sophomore in high school? You said you were a sophomore in college! Right now? Yeah, it does. Take your stuff. Okay, thank you very much. It was it was really, really great. You know, thank you. So thank you. Please. Heather, what would you do if there was a fire? The Franken teen years are a time Heather. when the best of children mutate into chemically imbalanced monsters with bad judgment, insecurities, and raging hormones. Heather, are you all right? Why won't you answer me? Heather, what's going on here? Just getting my stuff together. I was up late studying and I, I got an that paper though, and I, so I'll, I'll be ready soon. Well, please hurry up. I'm so tired. My father never wanted me to have to work. What time does your shift start? Yeah? Well, you can tell Elaine she can have my night. Mrs. Moskowitz's dress. I can drop it off by 9.30 and then start to work on the sunflower costumes for the dance school. I can get to sleep by 3 until I have to leave for work. Don't you want to sleep while I'm at school and sew when I'm home? Honey, I need to sew and then sleep. Oh, I need the ironing board. My God, Heather, this room is such a mess you could hide a body in here. 